Hey guys, welcome to the next session in my Swift beginner course. In this session, we are going to look into the encapsulation and the abstraction. So basically, we have uh, oops concepts like one class, two object, three. Polymorphism for encapsulation and then five abstraction, right? We already covered this one and then this one and then okay, one more thing I forgot is that inheritance. We have already covered this one also so remaining things are these three right okay and these are all the three things we are going to look into today okay first polymorphism so polymorphism is nothing but a behavior of one object or method which acts differently based on the context where it's being used okay so for instance in simple terms um let's assume that we have a method called shape and which gives triangle when it's being used in a triangle context and it gives square when it's being used in a square context so only one method but acts differently like performs differently this is called polymorphism and next one is encapsulation so encapsulation encapsulation is like protecting protecting data from outsiders and next one is abstraction abstraction is nothing but disclosing only required info to the outer world so pro encapsulation is protecting data from outsiders abstraction is disclosing only required info to the outside outer world so let's see them in action poly morphism So as I told, let's say I have a class called animal. Okay. And it has a function called sound. And Friend, not defined or generic animal sound. Okay, and I have another class called dog, which extends this animal and i am so since this dog inherits from animal it will have access to that uh, sound method right as we learned in the inheritance concept so sound okay so if you noticed here 
we the i mean we are adding this override before the function which means we are overriding the behavior of, of the sound method from the parent class right so and here what i'm going to do is print wow wow okay and i have another class called go and which extends from animal and like we overrided above we need to override the sound method right and here it's going to act as ma ma and here it's going to act as this so if you noticed here the sound method is same which is originally defined in the animal class but it acts differently based on the context where it being used so when the sound method is being overridden in the dot class it produces the wow wow output whereas when the sound method is being used in the cow class it's provided the mama output okay so this is called polymorphism okay right next encapsulation so as i told you it's just about protecting the data or methods from the outsiders right so let's say um i'm going to declare a class called customer and the customer has a name a name called string and it has another property called where pin equal to string right so as you know already by default the access specifier in swift are internal right so both of these properties has internal access specifier which means when you create an object like customer equal to customer and then customer dot name equal to pj customer dot pin equal to one two three four so if you are having like this then everyone who ha has access to this customer will be able to have access to the pin right so which is wrong so what we have to do we have to protect this so to how do we do that as we know this already we are going to protect it using private access specifier in this way we will not be able to uh, access this pin uh, variable outside the customer class because the the customer only need to have access to the pin variable right no one should be able to access it so when we do like this we will not be able to access in this way if i try to run this i will get error pin is inaccessible due to private protection level so this is called encapsulation right so we are protecting the variables or methods from the outside um, intervention right so now we know what is encapsulation now what is abstraction okay so what i'm going to do now is so when the pin will be generated then right because even when we create create a customer we are not providing uh, pins just because of it's being protected as a private right so at some point of time the pin has to be generated for the customer and only the customer should be able to generate it so what i am going to do now is when the customer object is being initialized okay i am going to generate a pin for myself 
as a customer let's say my pin is let sorry self dot pin equal to one two three four right so in this way this customer has some pin generated for him so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a method i'm going to have a method called func validate pin And here what I'm going to do is, when I say I'm going to validate pin, it needs to have some parameter, right? So let's assume that pin of type string. And here what I'm going to do is, this validate method will also return bool. So if self dot pin equal to equal to this received pin then i'm going to return true if not return false okay and here what i'm going to do now is let result equal to customer dot validate pin and I'm going to pass one two three four and I'm going to print the result okay let me see the output you see I'm getting true here right so why i did this what i'm trying to say here is as a caller to this validate pin method i really don't know what happened uh, inside this validate pin method okay but at last i got the output whatever i needed so that's what i needed i i i don't care how the validation happened there inside the customer class but as a caller i just need whether that pin is true or false it's it's a correct pin or not that's what i needed so this is called abstraction so hiding the implementation from the outsider and just providing the result whatever they want this is called abstraction okay and if i am changing the value here let's say i'm passing two three four and what i will get i'm getting false so that's what i needed so Either it's true or false, but I really don't care how it's implemented. This is called abstraction. So I hope this video would have helped you to understand about the polymorphism, abstraction and encapsulation. If you like this video, kindly don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down this video. Thank you.